initiative. I think it's awesome. It's a great day for Bedford Park residents who welcome news that D and B train riders now have three elevators to get to the subway stops concourse and platform. So I live with my aunt who, you know, she's six, almost 70 years old and it's always a struggle to get to the subway. So I've been looking forward to this and I'm really excited. Also excited Congressman Adriano Espaillat, who called the completion of the $38.2 million project great for the local economy. This is an extraordinary project because it would allow folks access to the subway system, which continues to be the engine of our local economy, of New York City's economy, which impacts, of course, the rest of the country and the world. Well, the project comes as the MTA is losing $200 million a week due to low ridership stemming from the COVID-19 outbreak. For this reason, Congressman Espaillat vowed to include the agency in the new stimulus budget negotiations. We saw the MTA come out and put out a recent report that shows how critical that funding is. So I'm going to continue to fight for the $8 billion in the HEROES Act. I've spoken to Nancy Pelosi. She understands the importance of that funding. The shortfall will also limit the number of stations across the city getting elevators. In January, they announced 39 would be built. The figure today is less than half that number. And because of the COVID crisis and the MTA's financial crisis, I'm probably only going to get to actually make contracts for about 15 of them, hopefully. So you see how serious the impact of the COVID crisis has been on our plans just for stations, but we're going to keep pushing. Also there, New York State Assembly Member Jose Rivera praising the completion of a project he says is critical to the mobility of the Bronx's disabled community. We have thousands of people that are handicapped, they're on wheelchair. We need to do this in all the parts of the Bronx. It's a great day. So the Bedford Park station is the 13th here in the borough to have elevators, and they're hoping that with the federal stimulus package, that number can go up. Here in Bedford Park, Arlene Makoko for BronxNet.